an important new guest tonight in this Georgia killing case. All right. We're following the investigation of the shooting death of Ahmaud Arbery. As you know, there is now a second piece of video under scrutiny. It's surveillance footage showing the 25 year old walking through a construction site that same day. Could you call this trespassing? Yeah. Could you call it justification for what the accused did, the McMichaels? I don't know how. The McMichaels, the accused in this case, told police seeing Arbery on surveillance footage, were they talking about this? Triggered their actions. Does the owner of the home, Mr. Larry English, agree with that? He joins us now alongside his attorney, Beth Grady. I'd also like to note, uh, the team, we're working all the relevant parties every day. Georgia Governor Brian Kemp, Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan, GBI Director Vic Reynolds, State Attorney General Chris Carr, the DA's office, the Glynn County Police Department, all have either said, no, thank you, just declined, won't respond, except for DA Jackie Johnson. Uh, they sent us a statement to say her office acted appropriately under the circumstances, but no comment. We're going to stay on it because we have to know what happened. So, Mr. English, Thank you so much uh, for taking this opportunity. I know it's not convenient. I know it is frightening to be in the crosshairs of this situation for you and your family. So thank you for taking the time. You're welcome. And Counselor, you as well. Thank you for making this possible. Uh, Mr. English, what is, what is your feeling about the fact that surveillance video of your home in construction has become relevant and used the way you believe it is being used in this situation? Well, first off, I would like to say that this is a tragedy and I'm deeply sorry, sorry for the uh, family and their loss. Um, and also it's for my family's loss of peace. It's been destroyed um, when we were just innocent bystanders in the situation. Um, as far as the video goes, uh, I don't want it to be put out and misused and misinterpreted for people to think that I had uh, accused of Mr. Arbery of stealing or robbery because I never did. You never filed any report. You never called 911 about this video. The video of February 23rd, I made no calls. Mm. Do you believe that uh, Arbery stole anything from your house that day? No, whatsoever. Um, now, the McMichaels told police in the police report here that he had been seen, Arbery had been seen um, on surveillance video. Did you share this video with the McMichaels? No, not whatsoever. Did they know of any past incidents at your construction site? I'm not, uh, I'm not sure about that. Nothing you told them about? No. Were you aware of any string of burglaries that they say were going on in that neighborhood? Because we can't find police records of any string of burglaries in the neighborhood. I was. And what did you know about what was going on in the neighborhood? I only knew of secondhand information that maybe somewhere in the neighborhood of January that a vehicle had been entered and some guns taken out of it. Are you aware that it was the McMichaels who filed that report? No. That's what uh, police records show, according uh, to our reporting on this, uh, that they had reported it. Um, do you have any relationship with the McMichaels? Do you have any feel for these gentlemen? No. Hmm. Uh, have you reported in the past things that happened at your construction site? I have. What kinds of things have happened and who do you think did it? Uh, the only thing that happened was uh, my cameras would notify me I would be two hours away. And my cameras might would notify me and let me know somebody was on the property. And what have you seen on your property before? How common is it for people to enter the site? Mm, 
not very, I mean, not very common at all. Um, in the daytime, didn't have very much traffic other than subcontractors and people working there. Um, and that would have been about it. And didn't you report, though, that you believe something had been taken from the house, but you couldn't identify who did it? No. So that's a false accusation. Oh, good. Good to know. Thank you very much. So you never reported anything about any fishing equipment or anything like that. Uh, the instance with the fishing equipment has got blown out of proportion. That was out of a boat, not out of the structure. Um, and I'm not exactly sure when or where that happened. It, the boat was transported from uh, Brunswick to our location to where we live two hours away. And I never filed a report on that because I don't know for sure exactly where it, it happened. Boy, you're right. That is getting thrown all over the place as a potential mm-hmm. other situation that Arbery may have been involved in. And just to be clear, you never filed it. You've never accused him. And you don't have any reason to believe that Ahmad Arbery had anything to do with that. That is correct. What do you think of the fact that one of your neighbors saw Ahmad trespassing on your property? And it is fair. I mean, you have counsel here, although, I don't, you know, you don't need it. It's great to have you here, Beth. Thank you for being here. And you're free to speak whenever you want. It's certainly different than the interview I had last night. Uh, but um, it, you could call it trespassing. He didn't have a right to be on the property, and yet he was there. One of your neighbors called uh, and said that he took off from there. How do you feel about them making a report to 911 about what they saw uh, with Arbery leaving the property? I really don't know exactly how to answer that question. Um, uh, I, you know, I, everybody in the neighborhood kind of looks out for each other's property. It's a, it's a 